Yeah, I, I, it's hard to read this document without uh, interpreting it as just flat out implicating the President of the United States in a couple of different felonies relating to camp campaign finance laws. I, I don't know that there's any other way to read that. And so I think that's the takeaway from that filing. I mean, Harry, I, I know you think that the, the one the one well, the one out could be did he know that it was a violation, the not the knowledge. That's right. That's right. So so here's the question, though. What happens if we are at a point where we're saying the president of the United States committed a felony and, yep. you know, OK, he had no. Yep. That, yep. Well, then what are they going to do about it? Well, there it's not clear that they're going to do anything about it for a few reasons. Number one. Uh, there are DOJ policies that say that whatever the circumstances, the president can't be indicted until after he leaves office. And it seems as if the prosecutors in the Southern District and on the Mueller team are going to f likely to follow that rule. The second issue is that because Cohen did not go all the way as a cooperator, did not tell the government everything he knew, did not sign a cooperation agreement, the, mm -hmm. the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District doesn't have him available to call as a witness. They have a specific program for cooperators. They've had it for many, many years. And yeah. as they say in their brief, Cohen didn't follow it. And yet, John Dean, we are at a point, if you th look at that filing and, and you say that this is a felony campaign finance violation and the president knew about it and directed it, that, again, is a new, a new stage here to be so formally at that point, right? This is a court filing in which that is the clear implication. That's true, and that's exactly what uh, Michael Cohn said in court when he pled. Uh, he, in his allocution, he implicated Trump directly, and he was doing it his instructions. Uh, that's why the payments were made, and they were for his benefit. Uh, I, I don't know that this will forever disappear into some dark hole of unprosecutable presidents. Uh, I think we'll, it'll resurface in the Congress. I think what this hmm. totality of today's filings show that the, the House is going to have little choice the way this is going other than to start impeachment proceedings.